Thank you so much, Flo Lorraine, and uh, greetings to you all. As said, my name is Evelyn Jo, a financial management student from the University of South Africa. The title of my research is Advances in Machine Learning Explainability to Contextualize Equity Market Sustainability in South Africa During the COVID-19 Era. For this presentation, I will start by looking at the research objectives, methodology, results analysis, then go on to conclusions and future research, then end by acknowledgements. As a financial management student, I was so fascinated in trying to understand and assess the impact of COVID-19, and the easier way was to look at the stock markets. Therefore, I looked at the Johannesburg stock market, which is the largest uh, stock market in the African continent. We do have a number of, uh, we do have uh, 353 companies listed at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, but for someone to quickly have a glimpse of what really transpires at the JSE, one needs to look at what we call the Johannesburg Top 40 listed companies, because by just assessing the, the top 40 listed companies, uh, they constitute more than 80% of the market capitalization. Therefore, it will be easier to really see what really happens at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. So the first objective was for this research was to employ a regression and machine learning algorithm to assess sustainability effects attributable to the impact of COVID-19 on the stock returns of the JSC top four listed companies, which for this, for this year, 2023, was coming up from the eight industries, although we do have 10 industries in, in general. Then another objective was to uh, examine the interpretability and robustness of machine learning in trying to estimate uh, by implicating explainable artificial intelligence. For data collection, I managed to have to find uh, the closing stock prices for the JSC top four listed companies, and the data was from January 2017 to September 2022. After gathering data, I ran 40 OLS regression models and analyzed the results. Then ran also, I managed to run 40 machine learning models, then did post hoc analysis using Sharply values. And for global interpretability, I did use sharp heat maps then try to review and uh, ex explain the results. I had uh, quite a number of independent variables, that is Johannesburg Top 40 Index, South African Volatility Index, COVID Index, Sustainability Indices, that is environmental, social, and governance. The parameter settings where data transformation was standardized one, training was 33% of observations, validation 67% of the observations, radius was set at one, then the error, minima, error minimization rule was the GCV. Using the Akaike information criterion and mean squared error, the best three models, which were for the three sectors, basic materials, financial services, and consumer services industries were selected. And these companies are Anglo Gold Ashanti, ANG, which is the third largest gold mining company in the world, measured by production. I reselect financial services industry. There was there is Standard Bank, which is one of the largest financial services group in South Africa, and it is Africa's leading lender in terms of assets. I reselect Clicks for the consumer services industry. This is uh, the leading farmers and so part of the healthcare group, which is part of the consumer services industry. Looking at my results, OLS and REN results produce identical parameter settings, exception except for Standard Bank, which is a financial services company. For Standard Bank, during COVID, this can be attributed to this negative uh, sign parameter for COVID on Standard Bank. It can be attributed to the fact that during pandemic, COVID pandemic, not necessarily by Standard Bank alone, but most of the financial services uh, companies were offer, started offering relief services. That is in terms of uh, ATM cash withdrawal fees, monthly fees to their clients. And also they did waiver in terms of, and, and relief in terms of home loan, student loans and other financial portfolios. For Anglo, Gold, Shanti and Clicks, the returns were influenced positively by COVID-19. And this can be attributed to the fact that during times of crisis and pandemic like COVID-19, most of the basic materials companies, since they trade with uh, precious metals, people tend to prefer and buy shares in companies which deals with pressure, precious materials most of the times. Then for clicks, it was a consumer services 
uh, provider, which was declared to be an essential service provider. So they were not really impacted by COVID-19, the companies in that industry, because they were operating full time and people always buy consumer services goods. So they were not really closed. For markets, uh, that is for JTOPI, uh, another variable there, the OLS results implicated a negative, a positive result relationship, whereas, whereas the machine learning model had uh, a negative relationship result, uh, negative relationship with the stock returns of these particular companies. For South African volatility index, normally the financial theory postulates an inverse equity price, price volatility relationship, yet exception was for Standard Bank, a financial services provider. For sustainability, OLS and RAN results had mixed parameters. Most of the companies from the basic materials in, in industry were impacted severely by, by, by governance, by the governance indices, because most of, the, of, of those companies were not allowed to operate because they were not declared to be essential service providers. Whereas for financial services industry companies, they were allowed to, to operate, so they were impacted by the social industry, indis unlike the financial, the, unlike the basic materials companies. For clicks and other consumer services, it was environmental indices, which had quite significant impact on the stock returns of these particular companies. These graphs are just to, for, uh, these graphs are for clicks, a pharmaceutical company, to just give you a, a, a clear picture of the OLS, uh, the difference between OLS regression and K4 run, that is machine learning uh, models. As you can see from these graphs, the precision of the K4 run machine learning uh, model is quite precise and amazing compared to that of OLS. To the right, I do have a network chart with the red lines showing the features which had negative impacts on the stock returns of clicks. Then the, the gray lines are showing the features which had positive impact on the stock returns of this particular company. Moving on, these are sharp hit maps for these the, the selected three companies, the best performing three companies in three different industries, Anglo Gold, Ashanti, Standard Bank, and Clicks. The blue line is showing the start of COVID-19, and the black bars to the end of each graph are showing the overall contribution of that feature to the stock returns of these particular companies. For Anglo Gold Ashanti, as we can see, COVID, Precious Metal Index, and JTOPI are the variables, are, are the features which had quite significant impact on the stock returns of this particular company. For Standard Bank, a financial services service in provider, South African Volatility Index, social and uh, environmental indices are the features which had significant impact on the stock returns of this particular company. For clicks, the, the, the company at the far right, the precious metal ratio, South African Volatility Index and COVID are the features which had quite a significant impact on the stock returns of this particular company. They were not really affected the same, but it was different across the industries. So what I can say is the conclusion from my research is that performance of, comple of complex stock market uh, models based on the traditional parametric statistical method is very weak when applied to developing economies like South Africa and Africa in general. So it will be best for researchers and policymakers to use novel learning, novel machine learning models in trying to develop and produce reliable, explainable results when applied to market instruments. Then for future research, it will be really crucial if, to use advanced machine learning techniques like deep learning and gradient boosting to compare and contrast results to identify the best performing algorithm for stock market predictability, and also in, to increase the accuracy of uh, the expected rate of return predictions for traded instruments and stock indices that relies on machine learning will be really encouraged. I just want to end by acknowledging and giving a special thanks to my academic mentors in Professor Gordon Dash and Professor Nina Kajiju who are both from the University of Rhode Island, United States. And I also want to extend my deepest appreciation to the NKD group, which provided me with access to WinRS software package, which I used in conducting this research. Uh, I just want to end, these are some of the references which I used for this particular presentation. And with this, I thank you.